Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. In this video, I will show you guys how to use a Bluetooth mouse to control your Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 inch tablet. Now in this video, I will be using an Apple Magic Mouse to demonstrate how this works, but you can use any supported Bluetooth mouse to get this done and the functionality that you get is pretty awesome. So without wasting any more time, let's get down to business. Okay, so here's my Magic Mouse. There's my tablet and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on and then you will see your mouse listed under available devices. Okay, and then all you want to do is you want to tap on the mouse so it can pair with your Samsung Galaxy Pro and uh, it takes a couple seconds. Once that happens you can go to that settings button on the corner right there and make sure the input device box is checked so you can use the mouse as an input device. The pointer and the background are white so it's hard to see it, but it's right there. Okay, so that is the left click and that is the right click which serves as the back function. So if you click, if you do a right click it takes you back. If you do a left click you can you know click on things and you can also swipe through the pages through magazine UX through touchways by swiping left to right or up or down okay as you can see so I can go back and forth let's uh, go to Google Chrome so click left click and you can also scroll through the websites by using up and down gestures okay and then you can click any links left click it's gonna open a new tab let's wait for that to load and scroll down using the mouse and then as I'm using the mouse I can let that go and start touching the screen lower the brightness if I want to play around with the mouse again so it's completely uh, integrated into the into the tab so let's uh, put that back up a little bit okay and let's uh, do a right click to go back right click to go back one more time so the right click button functions as the back button so let's left click to go into the widgets area here so we can do anything on the tab just like your finger you can use it as your finger okay so let's uh, grab a widget and put it on the on one of the pages here okay so you have to press and hold the left button to do this there you go and let's uh, play around with other things here you can also resize the widget by using the edges of the widget that you just placed on the um, on the page okay and let's take that settings button and put it back under that empty area right there okay and all this is being done by the left click button so I just launched the camera and I'm gonna take a picture tap there we go so we took a picture and then I can click that preview button at the bottom and this is the gallery alrighty and if I want to get out I just uh, press right click to go back takes me back to camera click it one more time back to the desktop and then I can just click and hold the left mouse button to throw away that widget that I don't want and let's uh, put this back where it belongs there we go press and hold okay to move stuff around you have to press and hold and let's take that camera icon and put it down on the corner alright you can also press and hold the mouse button and pull down the notifications tab on the top okay and then you can interact with this thing any way you please okay so let's go to the settings and uh, let's go to device let's go to controls and again you can scroll up and down anywhere okay using up and down gesture on the magic mouse now under settings and controls at the bottom you do see some options pertaining to your mouse okay so you can change the pointer speed and you can enable or disable the mouse over function a mouse over function is where you can hover above things and it just gives you some information regarding the thing that you're hovering over using the pointer of your mouse so yeah basically you can do anything you want with this mouse as if it was your finger okay so I just launched the folder and I'm gonna go to the Play Store actually let me go back out of this gallery and go to Play Store so go back on the folder actually just go to Play Store okay and then I can just navigate around in the Play Store so go to apps click on games 
but that's basically what you can do with the mouse. It really makes uh, working with the tablet easier, especially if you don't want to use your fingers. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.